Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to animate a metallic shine or a metallic glow or a metallic illumination, I suppose you'd call it. Very, very common in logo, uh, in animated logos, particularly in After Effects. But I'm going to show you how to do it in Premiere Pro. Let's see what I'm talking about first. I'm going to hit spacebar on it and you'll see that the yeah, you'll just see basically that the light, I've animated a light source across to just reflect across the text here. How do I do that? Very, very simple. Let's go ahead and just delete that image and start from scratch, basically. So first step here is you want to go ahead and create a black video. And this is a new thing for some people. You want to go to your project panel, left click on the new item, and then click black video. This will create a black video, and for me, it creates one that is one second long. So I'll delete that one, and I'm going to drag and drop in what we just created. It's only one second long in my situation. For you, it may be five seconds long, depending on what your default uh, setup is. But you can, just like I did there, you can increase or decrease the size of that black video just by doing that. So we've got some video in the background, although it's pitch black. The next step, I've got an image here, and I've got an image of Treasure Planet. I'm going to drag and drop that onto the V2, or the second video track, and then I'm going to extend it out so that it's the same length as the black video. So this, in this case, it's three seconds long. Now, nothing is happening in this because obviously we haven't uh, done any of the animation yet. And now here comes the fun part, making sure you're clicked on the image. We're going to go to our effects panel and type in lighting. L-I-T-E-H-I-N-G. You will see video effects adjust lighting effects. Drag and drop that onto the image and you will see a kind of funny looking spotlight effect. That's not what we're going for, but not to panic. Go to your effect controls panel, go to lighting effects, and then go to light one. Click on that chevron or that triangle and you want to make a couple adjustments here. The first one is you want to increase the intensity considerably. I'm going to increase it to about 85 just to really show you what I'm working with here. The second step is you want to change the light type from spotlight to directional. When you change it to directional, that means the entire image is lit, not just a section in that spotlight. Okay, good. The next step is we're going to create a mask and then we're going to animate it. So. Clicking on lighting effects like this, I'm going to go ahead and click on the free draw bezier tool. And for me, I'm just going to draw a little bit of like a, a rectangle. I'm going to draw something like this that I want to animate, yeah, something like that. Okay, that's probably that's how I want to animate it, and I want to move it across in time. So I've created a mask. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure my playhead is at the beginning. I'm going to move this mask outside so it's not touching or on top of the text at all or the image in this case. Now I'm going to go ahead and left click on toggle animation or the little stopwatch. So at the beginning of this and you'll see this disappear, we'll get it back, there is no light applied and by the end of it I want the light to have traveled across the entire image or across the entire text and out the other side. So. We've gone ahead and hit the we've hit the masking, we've hit the stopwatch. I'm now going to left click on mask one, and this is going to show us the mask. So again, at the beginning of it, the playhead at the beginning, there is no animation and it's off of the image. Now I'm going to pull it to the right, and you can hold shift down if you want to constrain it so that it pulls across, straight across. It's not really a big deal. And then at the end of it, I want it now to be off the other side. So, you'll see here as I scroll through here over time that this is now an animated mask and it's animating the light over time just like we'd like. So I'm going to click out, take it to the beginning, hit spacebar, there it is. We've animated that lighting, that glow, that animation, that metallic effect. That's it guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.